Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to new, well, very sunny Newcastle. Sunny, look at it. Raining down, even though the clouds are separated and there's sun right there, but we got the rain. So bloody annoying. Anyway, today we are on the ground at Newcastle with this Airbus A321. Thomas Cook, as you can see, and we are heading down to Zante today and the glitching is happening again. I don't get why OBS keeps on doing this when I'm spawning in. I don't know what it's like for you guys on camera, but it keeps on doing that to me. Anyway. We are heading down to Zante today. I've got some scenery for Zante there, and this glitching should stop soon. But that's where we're heading in this Airbus A321 Sharklet, which I like. It's a very, well, it's a very unpleasant day. Anyway, I think I've talked way too much now, so let's get into the flight deck and continue. And welcome to the A321's cockpit. It's almost cold and dark, not literally. I've only turned on the batteries in the uh, external power and turned some switches and lights on but that's about it oh my god it's so annoying like why does my frames go down when I bloody use this like why so annoying anyway this route as you can see here uh, if I go down here this route was huge so I was not filling out all of this so I managed to learn how to do company routes in the E320 uh, well, in the Aerosoft so that is what we're gonna do. So, oh wait, before I do that, set these to a line, turn on to ground, and I'll load the fuel and payload. Voila. There we go. Anyway, let's go down here. Clear that. In it. E G N T two L G Z A zero one. Put that in there. And voila! Everything is done, but sometimes you have to make sure it's done the uh, departure. Oh, yeah, see, sometimes it forgets the route. So you just have to worry. What was it? X ray or. One Tango? Well, that's not you, so we're gonna use the one Yankee. Now we're gonna check for route discontinuities. Wait, why did it only fill in very little of the route? Oh, well, I ain't complaining. It should take us there. Uh, let's go back to init. So we are using cost index of. I don't know what they use, so I'm just gonna put in. 15, we're going to go to 83, flight level 380, and line IRS, and we are, now I don't know if I got this right, but T, C, with X, and then what did I say, set it for, ooh, TCX 0541, uh, so 0541, that way we're just going to go for 541, it's easier, we're not on that sim, Actually, tell you what, screw it. We're going to go on that sim. 15.5. So let me just get that sim loaded up. Okay, guys, we are back and the lag hasn't... Ooh! There's an easy jet over there. Ooh, hang on. Oh, my God, this lag is really getting annoying since I've opened up a lot of stuff. Right. Crap. I lost my mouse. Mayday! Right, we'll get better. There we go. See what we got here. That is just part of the scenery. That is always there. Unless that man has died and has never disconnected. And his electric bill is probably through the roofs. We've got an easy jet UNICEF down by here. And then we got this. This beautiful plane. Anyway, um, I think it's Kestrel. I hope I got that right. So, yeah. Let's get in do the rest of the setup. So, well, that performance. Because it's short field and I can't remember. Ah, oh, crap, of course I closed it. <gasps> no! Fuel planner. It is. Not yet. Yes, it is red. It is. Zero up 0 0.6. 0 0.6. We're using tow guards, so we're going to hold the tow brakes in, I think, for this takeoff. Uh, that's that set up, and I need to check, is there any ATC, EG, oh, of course there is. Oh wait, no, we're EG, NT, I oh, we're safe, we got freedom. Right, let's set this up. Let's 
to the way I like it for departure, so I always have that on 10. Wait, is there any? Yeah, no. Just set that as 20. Look at them on. Uh, come on. One, two. Ah, crap. One, two, two. Decimal eight. And we're going to go onto here so I control this side. That's what that's for. And just make sure it's working. Uh, what was this? One, two, one, two, one. See, it's working now. And anything I do over here, so. One, two, one, two hundred. I don't think it works. Yeah, it doesn't work over here, see? So, this one works now. Anyway, scramble that, because I don't need him. Just turn that on. And one thing people do forget is you need the aqua brake pressure before you apply the brakes. It doesn't simulate in the aerosol, but it's what you need to do, so you have brake pressure, I think, for when you put the brakes on and get rid of the trucks. Perfect! And it stares just right. Anyway, so we are almost. Ah, oh, this lag is going to be the death of me. I think we're almost ready to go. We're going to turn these fuel pumps on to automatic now, and I think we'll start the APU. So, flap open. Wait for that. Perfect. Initiate it. That easy jet hasn't gone anywhere, has it? No. Has anyone else decided to join us? No, it hasn't. Ah, this lag is gonna kill me. I don't get why it's doing it. Like, seriously, I go on holiday and I come back and it's like this. It's so annoying. Anyway, uh, EGNT, two departures. One of them is us. The other one is Andrew, who is going to... LABL. I forgot where that is. I think that's down here. Yes, it's uh, Barcelona. Anyway, we are going not there. But somewhere over here, I think. Yes, over here. Hang on. Are we the only flight actually go? We are the only flight going there. Anyway, that's where we're going. Doesn't look like there should be any ATC. Wonderful. Ah, oh, he's pushing back. Goodbye, EasyJet. Right. We're going to wait a bit then. Anyway, we're going to start closing up some of these doors. We're going to close them all up. We're going to close up all the cargoes in the aft. There we go. And we're going to set the parking brake. This is exactly what Jack was having, the uh, YouTube rifle right with the other one. This is exactly what problems he was having when he had OBS recording sometimes. He just had glitches like that. Anyway, I have now got on with the real trucks. So we start the clock, so we start in our time because this is the blocks off time, and I learned that that's when you start the clock, not when you're doing pushback like that guy. Ah, there's plenty of room we can get through that. Anyway, so if you bleed, we're gonna close up the final door. We're gonna do that. Activate the beacon. That didn't work. Activate the beacon. Ding the cabin crew saying, uh brace because even though we aren't moving we're gonna brace them anyways just in case because uh, my flying skills hoo hoo you know how I fly terrible so I don't know how well the ooh, wait one thing I almost forgot to do is squawk 2000 make sure we are ready to go which we are so we are going to begin pushback and hopefully everything works and then hopefully it turns us. I probably won't though, because knowing it, it's not going to turn me. Like that guy, he's probably using default. And every time I fly Airbus and I do the shift P1 or whatever, it doesn't work. And it only works when I'm in the 737. For some odd reason. So I need GSX. Alright, oh, I missed the barking dog, didn't I? Ah, oh, blooded dead. Oh well. The engine to get to 20%. Wait, was there? Oh, I thought there was a jetway then, I didn't realise. We're just going to stop ourselves here. I'm going to start the other engine now. There we go. He's going to be taxiing out before us, and we're probably going to be holding short because of him. Which is wonderful news. Not.
Come on, let's race. I'm going to beat you. I'm in an AT21. You're in an AT20. Fight me. No, don't really. No. Please don't. I'm bit, I would rather fly your airplane. Your airplane. Actually, no, I think that's an A319. Have I just been screwing this up saying it's an A320? I think that's a 319. Because I think 319 is in the US, UNICEF. What is that? EJRA? EJAR? What happened to EZ? Or Z? Isn't that what EJ always use? Anyway. Perfect. Wait. Yeah, they are. Don't, don't diss me. Also, no point because I'm gonna ding the cabin at some point. Take that off the ground mode now. End of the start. So it's recording. I bait you. You're probably wondering why I'm done the flight control test because I'm gonna do it while we're taxiing, like they do in real life. And when I do the rudder, I'm just going to try and do it quick and not go all over the place. Anyway, finish this turn and full left, full right, neutral, full up, full down, neutral, full left, full right, neutral. Okay, I didn't do it faster like I would. I don't know my way around. So let's see. Ah, I see now. Ah, I got this. Don't worry. I'm not completely stupid. Ah, duh. I messed up. I thought that was runway zero seven, and I got wrong. Oh, he's won. I hate this easy jet. I hate you. Welling's better. Yeah, easy jet used to be my favorite airline until I flew with Welling, and now they've become my favorite airline. I would like to go faster, please. Like, don't you have IXEG? No, you have the uh, IXEG. I mean, I I A E. I'm talking about the seven two seven. I'm not talking about the classic seven two seven for plane. Also, good news! Um, I've been to Dad's bank recently, and I've made some uh, arrangement. Uh, not arrangements. What's the word I'm looking for? Ah, no. I was going to say arrangements anyway. I've made some arrangements that if I get 115 pounds and I pay him back, I'm going to get X plane and a few add-ons for it. I'm thinking, what am I getting? I'm getting like these ground service X things, so to make the videos look better, like. I was going to get GSX, but now I thought, screw it, nah, x -Plane looks better, so it's, it's cheaper as well, next plane, because <coughs> you, with this, uh, like, you, as you can see, I, in pretty much all of my airports uh, in the UK are demo, and the rest are all, like, default. That's because it costs a hell of a lot of money to uh, buy scenery, so, like, to make the airports look good like this, apart from these black boxes. So, um, there's, a, like, I think you download these packages and as long as you got them you can pretty much get lots and lots and lots of good free wear scenery and the 150 pounds is for X-Plane that's a bit IXEG 737 and the what's it called the ground services and I'm also gonna get like better pushback plus it looks better it looks great and also I am getting a call so hang on later I am back anyway as I was saying about the IXEG or uh, what add-ons I'm getting it looks like no I was talking about how good it looks it looks better than this. To get FSX up to a standard level of X-Plane, it costs thousands and thousands of pounds for add-ons and stuff like that to make it look good. Like, I got these Rex Clouds in the Steam Summer Sale, and that was just lucky. And everything else, like the Aerosoft, I got uh, out of some money I had left over. And I've got one P to my name now, but with this, if as long as I get them, I get to play in a few add-ons, like airplane-wise, it looks a ton, ton better, and it will just be a lot better for when I'm doing flying stuff. And I forgot to do something, which is to make it look more realistic, like I didn't screw up. I had all the power a second. No, 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 you don't. Right, brace, brace, brace. Well, I just slam on the brakes to bloody make the cabin crew fall over or do the moon, like the Michael Jackson uh, and flat foot kneel down, whatever it's called thing. Anyway, I'm going to stop by here. And then we're going to pretend we did nothing wrong. 
So well as these jiggers. Yeah, like I was saying, it's going to look a ton, ton better. In fact, if I remember, here is a few... Well, I wait for the lag to stop as well. Here's a few snapshots of X-Plane, or screenshots, sorry. That is what it looks like. It looks incredible. And, uh, yeah, so, like, it'll just be the right choice. And I'll probably do more X-Plane videos. And, yeah, when I get it. But, yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say about X-Plane. What is happening down here? What is the problem we are facing? That's all good. Get up. I get no warning. Wait, what was that that just happened? You don't clear. Raj, I'm the TCX holding short. We are recording, so don't screw this one up, cap. There he goes. I said that, yeah, I screwed up just a minute ago. Right, we're going to line up. Look at this cool looking plane. I have never flown the 21 as well. This is my first time, so this is going to be great. Although, I do hate how slow it goes. I can see that easy jet. We're heading to Barcelona. That could be a flight idea for later. Also, actually no, I'll explain two, after takeoff. Five. Right, just wait for him to get out of the way. I think we should. Just gonna apply brakes. We're gonna turn everything on. We're gonna say cabin crew brakes for impact as we butter the bread. Oh wait, no, that's for the later. That's for later. Uh, let's see here. I can't see him. Where he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? What? Ah, uh, screw it. Uh, let's just check here. Wait. That is good enough. We are departing. Wait, what did you just say? Low runway clear. Thank you, so TCX taking off runway two five. Uh, on runway e two five. On runway two five. Right, so we're gonna hold the ooh. race up. Right, we're gonna press that. Then we're gonna hold the brakes. We're gonna go fifty. Start the clock. Toga. Man, Toga, SRS, runway, On auto thrust is blue. Two, Shut five. up, Cindy! On runway. Two, five. Right. Maximum thrust and release. Oh, wait, no, you don't need to do down pressure on the AT21. Like, usually you do that. Like, if you look at the screen, you can see that I'm doing down pressure. But um, on the AT20, that's the only year. Uh, and the AT19, I think. And, well, from the 20 downwards. That's the only aircraft you need to do it on. On 321, you don't need to. Come on, uh, make it to V1, make it, make it to V1, make it to a V1, make it to V1. Well, we're about to approach V1, so now say your final words and prepare to pull. Ah, no, we're not gonna make it! Ladies and gentlemen, this captain speaking, it's been good knowing you. Oh, wait, no, we're gonna make it. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I didn't want to scare you all. That's fine. Okay, no, I was just kidding. Haha, <laughs> I'm a good pilot. 
Anyway, positive rate gear is coming up. Six hundred feet. And we are climbing out nicely. Although we ain't gaining any speed, we're staying in the yellow bars. Goodbye. It was good knowing you. Screenshot that. Let's begin our turn. And let's get a good screen. Beautiful. Right, so crap, I've just lost the turret. Right, we're just gonna engage autopilot now. Beautiful. And we can bring up flaps. Well, we can bring up to flaps one. Juan, flaps Juan. I don't know what language that is. I think that's the language, I'm not sure. How crap, man. How are we supposed to bring slats up when it's over speed? Well, I guess we can. Wait, what the hell was that? Bring. Wait. What did I just do? No. Everything is up, lights are off. We are good to climb out and not crash and die and burn in the next few seconds. So uh, that would be very helpful if we don't. Uh, I'm really bad at flying this airplane, I think. I don't think I'm up to flying a 321 anymore. I don't think I should have flown this aircraft out in the first place. I think I should have flown EasyJet with the AQ-20. Because that would have been a lot easier. Anyway, out we go. I take the spoiler. It's, uh, no, screw it. I'm going to take it on now. Actually thinking about it. What a lovely climb out. I may take the autopilot out again and just hand fly, even though that's a bad idea. And there's that easy jet. He's climbing very slowly. Yeah, in fact, we've, we've actually outdone him. We've gone so fast and so high climbing that we actually don't really care about him anymore. Well, our aircraft doesn't. We do. We don't. Oh, that's one thing we can do. We can bring up this to flight level 380 because there's no ATC. Holy crap, this plane likes to climb. Right, standard lights can come off. We can release the cabin crew. We're not releasing passengers just yet. And that's us all the way out. So 10,000 feet, I think it is, when you take... Yeah, it is. 10,000 feet is when we're going to take the passenger signs out, so we can just wait for that then. Because that's when the plane, I think, well, in the 8020, it level, starts to level out and slows the engines down a bit. Passing 10,000 feet. How exact was that? Pink there, we haven't reached the pink diamond, and I thought we'd see as we're starting to level out. So I wait till this comes down to at least below 25. Well, it stays at 25. Fabulous. Passenger signs can come out, and we'll see you when we plan the approach. Goodbye. Hello guys, welcome back. 
so we are 160 nautical miles from top of descent and the glitching is back way every time I seem to start talking it just does it oh well anyway it's been a smooth good flight so far but we need to plan the arrival so I am not prepared let me get the ATIS da -da 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 -da. where is it there we go <coughs> crap I have been time accelerating this because I'm going to fly back with Jack. Like he's heading to Alicante right now in Flight Simulator, so I'm going to fly back with him anyway. I've got some stuff, so. Uh, perfect! I'll take that then, please. Wait. Did it not? Why didn't it accept my runway? 340, not allowed. Runway 16, that, it's it. Right, so it does that, hang on. But I don't want to land there, I need to land runway 34. So that, with that, with the exert, the flight plan, with the uh, get rid. Get out my left, get out my left. Voila, so that's perfect. Was I? Uh oh. Yeah, I need to start descending then. Crap. Well, wonderful. So we're going to descend on 6,000 for now. Spoilers out. It's fast descent. We're going to send on to 4,000. Because uh, I see no top of descent. Oh wait! Oh crap! No! 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 Back up to three eight zero. Back up to three eight zero. Thank you. Ah, that was not loaded in. Okay, you saw that then. That was not loaded in. So yeah. Anyway, now we need to plan the approach. So one zero zero nine. Temperature is three three. And I need to find out the rest. So. LGZA. Shots and please don't be a PDF because I hate these. It hasn't got any. Wait, is this? <laughs> Wonderful, that helps me not at all. Oh, wait, hang on. Ah, oh, why did it. Shots. There we go, and of course it's a PDF because I love PDFs, not. Uh, what did I select? Runway 3 4, so. Let's go find it. We did not choose the VOR, so do I have any that's just the runway by itself? I don't think so, my friend. So we're just going to take this. We're going to send out 2,700. So, write that down. So, 2,700. And... What's the barrel? Uh, the, uh, what do you call it? 80... Okay, then. Eight two zero. Alright. Uh, uh cool. Yo. Sorry, can you hear me then? Oh wait, I forgot to check as well. Transit altitude is eight thousand, so and uh Three four three four zero at four. Yes. There we go. And I know that we are going to have to land with max braking. So apparently they do that with full reverse. So yeah. Anyway, we'll see you guys when we come up to top of descent. So see you then. We're about to start sending, as you can see. We can't go into the tens though, otherwise, well, we don't see it. So we have to stay in 20 and just guess when we're passing it. Well, not really guess, but if it goes out of our sights, we're just gonna have to send when we think we pass it. Anyway, um, this island over here is the one we can land it on. I don't get why this stuttering and never sex is happening when I'm recording. It's actually really starting to get on my nerves. Like when I'm still, 
it's fine. I get the usual amount of frames that any flight simulator YouTuber gets, but the minute I start moving, it just judders and drops, like down to nine, then eight, then nine, then one, then back up to what it usually is, and then if I'm moving, it drops, and it's fine. Anyway, let's descend down now to 2,000. And let's just go for and three and four hundred. The descent has started. Like look how smooth that is. Everything's smooth, and then the minute I start moving, it's just like oh god. Even though it's like ah, there it is happening. It's really annoying me. Oh well. We have begun descent, so we'll see you. Uh, probably. When we're starting to configure for landing, so then flap one comes out is when we'll see you next. So see, yeah. I've just gone past ten thousand, and flaps one is going to come out. Oh crap! And for some reason, I have decided not to slow down. So we're gonna activate the approach mode to start slowing me down. Beautiful. Now we're gonna bring flaps one in, and we're gonna activate some spoilers. Just so we slow down and don't crash and die. It's alright for now. There we go. Real life, our wings would be dust, but who cares? <coughs> um. The last one thing we find out is the hang of the runways. Three, four, three. How do I Yeah, I don't understand this to be honest. Oh well. <laughs> I do I mean I do. I know exactly what all this means. Of course I do. Yes. I know what it means. I I ain't no I know I ain't no idiot. But we are gonna begin turning in a minute when we get closer. A nice clear, well, not really clear, but it's a nice, almost no clouded day. I do have scenery for this airport, and I haven't seen it yet because I haven't flown over yet. I think the airport's over there. Well, it is over there, and it should be over there, and hopefully it's over there. I see it! And the scenery worked! Okay, so it looks a bit glitchy from here, but that's okay. It won't be like that when we arrive. Hopefully it's not as laggy as this when we arrive. Because this is really starting to get on my nerves. We are just going to fly, I think. Oh my god, this lag. And I'm going to get rid of that. I've been keeping an eye on it. So. Let me just move back a little bit. So. The controller is going to fly it. So. 20 degrees. Or 200 degrees. I'm gonna fly this way before lining up with the airport. Because uh, I don't think this airport has ILS, so. Four, four, four. Okay, not three, four, zero. Three, four, three. Runway. Okay. <coughs> We're gonna put that on max. Because we need to slow the hell down. Because this runway ain't long at all. And knowing me, I'm gonna float down quite far. So, yeah. This is not gonna be good. We can bring in some flaps too. Shut up. Right. Gear can now come down.
Well, our gear is down, so we can go... Well, not just yet. Right. There we go. So... So... Flaps 3 can come in. And we'll go flaps 4. Does this have any use? I'm not sure. I'm going to keep it on just in case. And... Flaps... 4. And we are going to... The airport's... Woo! Some glitchy texturing. The airport, because of my absolute phenomenal x-ray vision, I feel like I said that wrong. Uh, I can see the runway, so uh, thank God that I was born as Superman, otherwise we would not see the runway right now. Right, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the autopilot out. And because we are completely ready, I was going to say I've told the camera crew to sit down. Because uh, I am going to try and do something I haven't done before. So, it's going to carry on descending as well. <coughs> right. So far, so good. I see runway, especially because this runway is small, this is a really bad idea. Spin this around to the heading I have to fly if I screw up, which I probably am. And I have to continue climbing to 4,000 if I do screw up, so let's just set that up. Are they? Uh, oh, birds! Birds! Medic! Birds! Don't crash into them. That's actually pretty cool. I've never seen birds in this game before. Well, let's hope we don't hit them. Okay, going way too low. Actually, no, we're gonna go just keep on descending a little. Oh, I'm gonna screw up, I'm gonna crash, we're gonna explode, I'm gonna die. Do 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 do. I'm gonna come in up zones. Oh no. Just a legit. Now nah, screw this, I'm, ha I'm, an I'm eyeballing it. Oh wait, yeah, crap. I'm um, the spoilers. Runway, I can see. Right, we're gonna send down a little. One what? I have no idea what I just said. Is it like. Minimum. Ah, uh, yeah, minimum. Well, I can see the runway, my friend, and in fact, I'm hand flying it. I don't see this being a soft, but it should be an okay landing. Like, this is my first time coming into this airport, and I am way too low. Actually, no, I'm way too high. 500. Four hundred. My ball then get. Three hundred. These people are going to be in the shock for their lives. I'm too low. I'm too low. I'm too low. Usually I'm too high. This is the first time I've been 200. too low. Too high now. One hundred. Seventy. Sixty. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Retard. Five. Max Reverse, that was not the greatest landing ever, but we made it down. Nine hundred meters. I hear you! Shut up! Wait, why aren't we slowing down? Ah, oh, screw it. Six hundred meters remaining. Why didn't the max break? Ah, oh, did the max brakes cut off? I think the max brakes cut off. Right, we made it. Welcome to Zante. Or Zakynthos. I can't believe I did that first try, I'm well proud. Right. Should I not screw up the taxi back now then? If I did that first try. Approaching one 
I don't even care if the game crashes right now. I am uploading that. That was great. It wasn't the best landing. I have to admit, that was probably the worst landing that's ever happened on this scenery. Because I am the worst pilot that's ever flown here, probably. On this scenery. But yeah, let's taxi back. On runway. One, oh, six. I really need to shut that thing up. It's really annoying. And I didn't get a bird strike. Um, let's see here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have successfully not died. Welcome to Zante. Shut up. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Uh, turn the brake fans on because they were used and probably gotten really hot. I know I'm the only one those are coming here, so uh, I don't need to tell them that I've arrived and the runway's clear on the uh, that Sims thing. Anyway, let's have a look at the landing rate. I'm oh, not that bad. Hey. Not that bad for hand flying it in, doing that weird tactical thing, trying to keep it centered, and landing halfway on the other side of the runway, almost going off it. So I'm actually well proud of that, and you cannot sue me for it. I've been at this airport for four. I, in fact, I have been standing right there. Right, we're gonna park here. We're gonna taxi up there and turn around. Which is what we're gonna do, so <clears throat> let's do that. Because I think this is where I parked when I came here last time. And there was like a private jet parked. And when I left, like this is where I arrived. And when I left, there's a private jet parked here, which was cool. I'm not trying to spin my head, because otherwise it's gonna lag and it's really gonna annoy me. Actually, screw it. <gasps> nope. You didn't see this. You didn't see this at all. You're not seeing. Okay. Greatest landing I've ever done. Well, no, not the greatest. I got minus 43. Sorry. No, I mean, worst landing I've ever done here. But it was alright for first timer. And. So we're going to spin around here and try not to screw it up. Even though I've already screwed up. But anyway. Ooh. I can't turn you coming in. Stop it. The Ooh. In fact, even though I screwed up that parking because I was trying not to spin my head around too much. That is okay. Oh, this has turned out to be great. Make sure that's all on. And we can cut the engines. This was not bad. I'm actually quite happy. I should have stopped this as well. Sorry, I was too busy focusing on my uh, non-mess up. Don't need those yet. Hang on, get some stuff in here. Wheel trucks that can now stop. Traffic cones and external power. Now we go to doors and we'll open them now in a minute. Hang on. Let me just finish doing everything else. Activate the ground. And we have made it. I think I've blinded the marshal, but that's okay. He don't need his eyes. He can get another job. Right, let's start off loading. And, oh crap. Get that back on there. We have made it to Zakynthos or Zante, whatever you want to call it, because I do not care. Anyway. So yes, very good landing, I'm well proud. So guys, welcome to Zakynthos, or Zante, I don't care what you're going to call it, I'm going to call it Zante because it's easier. Because I don't even know if I say it right. Um, last time I was here, I parked in this spot and then I was over here, facing that way. Because a private jet was parked here. And I've been standing in these windows before. I was standing right there looking out at the aircraft. If I remember to upload a picture, bloop, here it is. There's a picture of the aircraft from that window that I flew on. It wasn't a Thomas Cook, it was an easy jet, and we went to Bristol instead. 
But oh well, that was very good. I'm very happy with this for my first timer in this airport. I'm going to fly in and out of this place a couple of more, like a few more times. Like, no, actually, I'm going to fly out here quite a lot in and out. I'll probably actually do another return flight with this aircraft back to Newcastle. Or I may just spawn in an easy jet and do that back to Bristol instead, instead of Newcastle. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Tell me if you want me to go back to my old intro that I did, like, because it was a different intro this time. It was, like, one I created yesterday using a different music. But if you want me to go back to the other one, uh, I'll go back to it and that one will be forgotten, the uh, one I created. But anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next flight. Goodbye! Invincible.